Most PC and Mac users use a spreadsheet, at least some of the time. After all, the spreadsheet was the killer application that launched personal computers from hobbyists into the broader community. The most common spreadsheet program is Microsoft Excel. Indeed, the term Excel has become synonymous with spreadsheet, but Excel was not the first spreadsheet. The killer application that launched the PC revolution was VisiCalc, first released on the Apple II in 1979 and credited by Steve Jobs for much of the early success of Apple Computer. Today, I'm going to compare the first IBM PC version of Excel running in FreeDOS on an old netbook with Excel running in Windows 10 on a modern laptop computer. You can download VisiCalc free from a website set up by its original developers. Here, you can also read why the inventors of the product category never patented the spreadsheet. Given that VisiCalc was originally developed for 8-bit hardware at only 27 kilobytes, it's remarkable how much it can do. VisiCalc was pre-GUI, so navigation is done with cursor keys. To enter a command in VisiCalc, you first type slash, then one of 15 command letters. For example, to load a spreadsheet, you type S for storage, then L for load, and then the name of the file. You'll notice that like VisiCalc, Excel spreadsheets are presented in a grid with alpha designators on the top and numeric designators on the side. Formulas in cells use these references to represent variables. Formulas are entered in a similar manner in VisiCalc. This spreadsheet is an attempt to mimic one I developed in Excel for modeling call centers. While VisiCalc includes basic arithmetic, trigonometric, financial and logical functions, it falls short when it comes to the probability functions necessary for call centre modelling. A key calculation for call centres is the probability that a call will have to wait in a queue. The formula for this includes an iterative sum for the number of call centre agents of a ratio of an exponential over a factorial. VisiCalc doesn't have a built-in scripting language, but an iterative sum can be built up from a lookup table. I've already prepared the table of rows for the first two agents, ready for replication to the rest of the table. To replicate in VisiCalc, you type slash R, then enter the source range, and then the target range. And then you notice a difference with Excel. In Excel, you distinguish between relative and absolute cell addressing using dollar signs when you write the formula. In VisiCalc, you declare whether or not the cell address is relative during the replication process. This is rather awkward since you have to turn your mind back to when you wrote the formula, which may have been some time ago. In any case, the result is the same and the spreadsheet formula replication function is achieved. The probability of weight table will now recalculate based on the call center parameters. With the probability of weight table in place, all that's needed is a function to look up the relevant probability based on the number of call center agents.
identifying variables in formulas by their grid reference. What if spreadsheet recalculation? Formula replication with relative addressing. The grid of cells layout. These are all characteristics of all spreadsheet programs. And they're all present in the program that created the application category, BusyCalc.